light is the most reassuring element in darkness. Flying insects. Swimming fishes. And even tranquil flora. All are instinctively delights. Humans are no exception. Some chase the beauty of sunrise. Some pursue spectacular night lighting. While yet another group of people is quietly pursuing the brightest light source on Earth. They are scientists who use light to conduct research. And currently, the brightest and safest light source that human technology can produce today is synchrotron lights. Synchrotron light is generated when electrons moving near the speed of light are deflected by a magnetic field. The spectrum of synchrotron radiation goes beyond visible light to include infrared, ultraviolet, and X-ray emissions. The higher the frequency of light, the more detailed it can portray. Currently, there are over 70 synchrotron research facilities in the world. Building a synchrotron light source facility represents a new landmark of scientific development for a country. And one such iconic facility can be found in Taiwan. Taiwan's National Synchrotron Radiation Research Center is divided into three parts, the boosting ring, storage ring, and beam ring. How is synchrotron light generated? First. Electrons are energized to 50 million electron volts inside a linear accelerator, then fed into a 72 meter long boosting ring, then accelerated to near the speed of light with an energy of 15 billion electron volts. Through the transport line, electrons enter the storage ring, and then orbit around the storage ring while emitting bright lights. The beam line brings the light to the adjacent experimental station. Synchrotron light passes inside the beam line of vacuum tubes to ensure that no substance causes reflection. This is not visible light and cannot be seen by the naked eye, but the photon intensity it generates is actually higher than that of the sun. Under its exposure, the detailed structure of any substance can be seen, such as the needle-sized brain of a fruit fly or the blood vessels around a cancer cell. Many cutting-edge scientific accomplishments were born here. Among them is the research team led by Dr. Jin Rong Chen, an NSRRC researcher, who is also an associate professor at Tsinghua University and Chenggong University. Dr. Chen specializes in protein structure and functions. His lab is in the protein structure identification facility. Yeah, it's good size. The size is about 200 micron. 200 micron. Yeah. We are going to test for the diffraction. Before we enter the micro world of protein, we must look at this totem which all biologists around the world worship, DNA. <laughs> DNA exists in the cells of every creature and is the key that differentiates the characteristics of all creatures. 
1950, scientists confirmed the double helix structure of DNA, heralding the start of the last half century of biology and genetic engineering. In 2003, mapping of the human genome sequence was completed. Scientists were startled to discover that the number of human genes did not exceed 100,000. In fact, it proved to be less than 40,000. That is only four times as many genes as those of yeast, and twice as many as that of a fruit fly. Not only does it mark a major cut from the original estimates, scientists also found that 90% of human genes are identical to those of a mouse. So if humans and mice have almost 90% the same genes, why are human beings so much more complex? The answer is protein.